today I'm going to teach you how to properly use chalk, which is not to wear it on your face. All right, so let's talk about chalk. So chalk normally comes in a block. This is about a half block. As a matter of fact, I have little kids and you can see they love to break up the chalk into like powder. They have, you know, you, you don't want to do that. You, you want to keep it like this chalk. And chalk is made as a grip enhancer. And really what it does, it's magnesium carbonate. What it does is it, it, it absorbs sweat off your hands and, uh, and makes it so that basically you don't slip, you don't get blisters, you don't get, it, it actually reduces calluses significantly. Calluses, blisters, things come from actual friction of the barbell across your hand. And it helps to reduce that friction so that you can set a really good grip uh, on the lift. So typically it comes in block form. It's really cheap. You can get it basically anywhere you can buy it. Amazon or anywhere that they, they sell basically retail sporting goods type stores have these. They do use them for uh, gymnastics, rock climbing as well, not just weightlifting. Um, and so what you want to do when you apply this, and by the way, it'll work on any of the lifts. I use it on all lifts. I think you do too. Um, what you really want to do is you want to take the block and you want to have a bowl or a lot of people just use like a, a five gallon bucket from a hardware store or something. And you just want to kind of paint your hands with the chalk. And so you want to hit both the, the any areas are going to hold on to the bar. So clearly here, but also you can actually see there's almost like a little thumb spot, like a little gap here where we've hit it between our, our uh, forefinger and our thumb so that I get uh, everything that's going to come in contact with the barbell is going to be is going to be painted. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other side too, so you can see how I would do this. I'm going to hit it on my thumb again. I'm going to try not to break up the chalk. You could break this up. It's, it kind of feels like a like a chunk of, of of you know like it's actually softer than like driveway chalk or chalk that you use as a kid on like a blackboard. So it's it's pretty easy to break up. Once I do this, I actually do a really quick, almost like a wash my hands lightly with it to kind of just get it well coated. And I usually clap once or twice over the bucket to get any excess off them. And that's mostly because I don't want my barbell, where the neural of the barbell is, to be loaded with this chalk. As a matter of fact, over time, no matter how much you try, you're gonna get chalk kind of gunked up in the knurling. You'll wanna take a wire brush and clean that out every once in a while, clean the barbell so that the neural stays fresh and doesn't get gunked full of chalk. So this is how I apply chalk to my hands when I use it for the lifts. So how do I use it on the lifts? Well, well my good friend Michael Wolf, he's gonna show you how he uses it on all the lifts. We're gonna start with the lifts where our hands interact with the barbell. So that would be like a deadlift, a press, a bench press, but we're also gonna show how we might use chalk on something like a squat where the barbell is primarily interacting with the body on their back as opposed to in the hand. So chalk can actually be valuable in that case as well. Now, chalk is a necessity in the deadlift. After adding weight for a while, grip will become the limiting factor. And yes, we do wanna strengthen grip on the deadlift. Mostly we wanna strengthen the muscles of our back and posterior chain. So if the muscles that contribute to the grip, the forearm muscles and the hands, which are small muscles, if they're limiting the weight on the bar, then we're not really able to train the back and posterior chain as well as we want. Now here on the press, you can see that Michael's hands are nice and chalked up. Lots of people don't use chalk for pressing movements, but I definitely recommend it. While the arms are in compression here, not really tension, so grip might not actually be the limiting factor, but certainly because we're holding the bar in our hands, we want that grip to be as secure as possible. So chalk really helps on both the press and the bench press. Okay, so you've seen how we chalk on the press, the bench press, the deadlift. On the squat, it's a little bit different. So you're primarily interacting with the barbell. The barbell's interacting with your back. And so if you have a workout partner, I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna take a block of chalk. So Wolf actually trained this morning. The shirt is a little bit sweaty. If it's in the summertime, it's hot, you're a little sweaty. And you actually wanna reduce the friction or the chances that the bar rolls down your back during the squat. You can actually have a workout partner actually chalk your back where the barbell is gonna go. So I just kind of, just kind of run it back and forth like this. And in the same way I would paint a hand, I'm gonna paint his back in that low bar position where he's gonna put the bar and you can paint the chalk that way. Now, Wolf trains by himself in Austin, Texas, and it's hot and you're in like a garage that's not air conditioning. So I want you to chalk like you normally would for squat because you don't have somebody chalk your back. So what does that look like? Show us that. And then I'm gonna have you do a, a rep of squats. So you're gonna paint his hands like normal. It's like you normally would. So I paint my hands a little bit thicker than your normal situation so that I have extra to coat the bar a little bit across like this. Right. So instead of chalking your back, you've now chalked the bar a little bit so that you have that extra chalk that's gonna then get put on your back 
So rather than applying the chalk to your back, you apply it to the bar. Exactly. Because you don't have somebody else. Okay, let's do a rep. Seems set the bar into position. The chalk kind of poofs. Big breath. Good. Clean walk back. Just like that. Just do a rep. Perfect. Walk it in, touch the uprights. So I've often said that a way to know that if your gym is a pretty good gym is if they allow chalk and even better if they have chalk. So if they have these blocks of chalk in your gym, you, you probably know it's a pretty decent gym to lift in, especially if you're traveling. But if you do travel, and I get this all the time, we'll travel and we'll have to go to some big, you know, fitnessy big box gym that doesn't allow chalk. They actually make liquid chalk, which comes in just kind of a squirt bottle. It's really kind of a combination of powdered chalk, magnesium carbonate, and almost like Germex, it's alcohol. So it's a, it makes a liquid version. So you squirt it on your hands, you rub it all over your hands, the alcohol evaporates off like a Germex would, and it leaves a thin coating of chalk on your hands. It doesn't get on the barbells. So if you're traveling, you're going to a big box gym, they don't allow chalk, or, or maybe even at your home gym, they don't allow chalk. Liquid chalk is not as good as this, but it's definitely a step up from not having chalk at all. Uh, and it will help with grip and, and slippage and blisters and calluses and whatnot. So it's a, good, it's a good place to start if you can't get this. The other thing that I've done before is I just take a Rubbermaid container, a basic Rubbermaid container, and I'll put this in my gym bag and I'll bring a block of chalk to a gym. And then a lot of times, if you're really careful about using the chalk, I can just open the Rubbermaid container, keep it in my gym bag, go down and use the chalk, put the lid back on, like I can actually clap and do my little thing over the Rubbermaid container, and then nobody even really knows I have chalk in the gym, so you can use it sort of relatively covertly. Um, it's a great way to, to start with chalk. If you learned something new about how to use chalk today, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe to the Barbell Logic channel, and for more great videos on accessory lifts, click the link right up here.